good morning all are welcome in the presentation of biofertilizers first we see what is biofertilizer a biofertilizer is a substance which contains living microorganisms and when applied to seed plant surfaces or soil colonizes the rhizosphere or the interior of the plant and promotes growth by increasing the supply or availability of primary nutrients to the host plant biofertilizers add nutrients through the natural process of nitrogen fixation solubilizing phosphorus and stimulating plant growth through the synthesis of growth promoting hormones Biofertilizers are natural fertilizers that are microbial inoculants of bacteria, algae and fungi. They may help biological nitrogen fixation for the benefits of plants. They help build up the soil microflora and thereby the soil health. Biofertilizer also include organic fertilizers that is manure. Use of biofertilizer is recommended for improving the soil fertility in organic farming. now we see the types of biofertilizers first is bacterial biofertilizers there are two types one is symbiotic nitrogen fixers example rhizobium azospirillum second free living nitrogen fixers example azotobacter fungal biofertilizers example mycorrhiza or vamp fungi algal biofertilizers example cyanobacteria or bga examples are nostoc anabina oscillatoria etc aquatic fern example is azolla and manure vermicompost and green manure now we see the bacterial biofertilizers the live cells of bacteria used as a biofertilizer neep gene present in the bacteria make them capable fixing nitrogen there are two types symbiotic nitrogen fixers and second is non symbiotic nitrogen fixers nitrogen fixing bacteria example is rhizobium which lives in the root hairs of the legumes by forming nodules rhizobium can fix 50 to 300 kg nitrogen per hectare second example is azospirillum it is mainly present in cereal plants it is most dominant soil microbe and can fix 50 to 300 kg nitrogen per hectare second example is free living bacteria example azotobacter they are free living and present in alkaline and neutral soils apart from nitrogen it also synthesizes growth promoting substances like auxins and gibberellins it improves seed germination and plant growth fungal biofertilizers example vesicular arbuscular mycorrhiza that is vamp fungi the mycorrhiza is a mutualistic association between fungal mycelia and plant roots it is an endophytic mycorrhiza it help in nutrient transfer mainly of phosphorus zinc and sulfur vamp plays a great role in inducing plant growth it helps in retaining moisture around the root zone of plants it increases the resistance to root borne or soil borne pathogens and nematodes it removes the toxic chemicals for example phenolics which hinder nutrient availability it reduces sensitivity sensitivity of crop towards high level of salts and heavy metals algae as a biofertilizer cyanobacteria or bga are free living nitrogen fixing algae more than 100 species of bga can fix nitrogen nitrogen fixation takes place in specified specialized cells called heterocyst bga are very common in rice fields example is anabina nostoc oscillatoria etc azolla as a biofertilizer Azolla is a tiny fresh water fern common in ponds ditches and rice fields it has been used as a biofertilizer for rice in all major rice growing countries including india thailand korea brazil and west africa 
the nitrogen fixing work is accomplished by the symbiotic relationship between the fern and bga anabina azuli in addition to nitrogen it also provides potassium phosphorus zinc and ferrous to the crop it fixes 40 to 80 kg nitrogen per hectare per year it is good manure for flooded rice vermicompost is used as organic manure in farming vermicompost is the product of the decomposition process using various species of worms usually red wrigglers white worms and other earthworms to create a mixture of decomposing vegetable or food waste vermicompost contains water soluble nutrients and is an excellent nutrient rich organic fertilizer and soil conditioner it is mainly used in organic farming green manure a fertilizer cons- consisting of growing plants that are flowed back into the soil green manure is created by leaving uprooted or sown crop plants to wither on a field so that they serve as a mulch and soil amendment the plants used for green manure are often cover crops grown primarily for this purpose they are flowed under and incorporated into the soil while green or shortly after flowering green manure is used in organic farming and usually used for soil improvement and soil protection green manure acts mainly as soil acidifying matter to decrease the alkalinity or ph of alkali soils by generating humic acid and acetic acid the increased percentage of organic matter improves water infiltration and retention aeration and other soil characteristics the amount of humus found in the soil is increased which is beneficial for the growth of the crop examples of green manure crops are alfalfa buckwheat clover lupin sunhem cowpea fenugreek millet mustard groundnut etc now we see the application methods of biofertilizers there are three methods first is seed treatment which is most common method second is root dipping it is used for paddy and vegetable plants third is soil application used in rows or during leveling of soil now we see the precautions while using the biofertilizers store the biofertilizer packets in cool and dry place away from direct sunlight and heat rhizobium is cross specific so use in specified crop do not mix biofertilizers with chemicals use the packet before expiry only on the specified crop by the recommended method now we see the advantages of biofertilizers it is renewable source of nutrients it sustains soil health it supplement chemical fertilizers it replaces 25 to 30% chemical fertilizers increases the grain yields by 10 to 40% decompose plant residues and stabilizes carbon nitrogen ratio of soil it improves texture structure and water holding capacity of soil there is no adverse effect on plant growth and soil fertility it stimulates plant growth by secreting growth hormones it secrete fungistatic and antibiotic like substances which is used in controlling diseases it is eco friendly non pollutants and cost effective method there are some disadvantages first is biofertilizers require special care for long term storage because they are alive must be used before their expiry date biofertilizers lose their effectiveness if the soil is too hot or dry this is all about the biofertilizers and nowadays biofertilizers are used in huge amount in organic farming along with chemical fertilizers and there is and these are eco friendly cost effective 
and easily decomposing. Thank you.